Congratulations, Dungus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Mil Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Milfrichtumen to bless our chosen one. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Milfrichtumen welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg. I hail you, Enon Mil Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. 
Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be told by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from us. Flee, or you will be their victims. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom, which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum sekarans. Goodbye.